Hello everyone, Air Max here. So recently I did push a video about a ranking of all the best Linux distribution for gaming, at least the one I tested. And one of the comments that came up a lot was about Pop OS. I never tested before, so I thought it would be a great occasion to go through it. So I made a stream in which I show my first experience, first like, you know, feeling after installing the distro. And then I used it for multiple days. And uh, yeah, this is not what you're going to expect, guys. <laughs> Let's get into it. So this distro is maintained by an American company called System76. And really what they do, like they sell like computer based to be used on Linux and especially on their own operating system, PopOS. Like that, you have an idea of where this distribution come from. In this video, I won't be covering like their hardware like proposition because this is not the point of this video. The point of this video is just to give you a feedback toward like how PopOS perform in gaming and what is the overall like feeling and performance of the distribution versus something else. So let me start with the download. So the download was actually pretty straightforward. I went there and they have like different image for the different hardware you could have. So they have one for AMD, one for Nvidia and one for uh, Raspberry Pi 4. So what I've done, I download the image, put it on a Vantoy key, started the stream. I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to see the full stream. And I went through the installation. The installation was super straightforward. I really like how easy it is for NVIDIA user to install Pop! OS on their hardware. Like this is just really, really good. I have to say the interface was clear. You don't have too much option to go through. You can choose your keyboard, keyboard layout. Then you set up your login and password. Choosing the hard drive you want to install the distribution on was really easy. I didn't have any issue related to the bootloader because I have some distro like Ubuntu, for example, which just destroyed everything on my other hard drive. There, no problem. I went through it. It was perfect. I like the, the fact that they give you the option to encrypt your hard drive. Why not? And it's not that complicated. You just go through it. Really, like from a beginner experience, this was really, really good. I have to say like, Guys, good job. Then I jump into the desktop and I start to, you know, play around with it. And first thing I notice is that my NVIDIA driver were installed out of the box and it was the latest new feature branch version installed. So those drivers are pretty new and I was really happy about it compared to other distro. I think there they have done a really good job of integrating the NVIDIA driver within the install and having this like flawless experience. So another good point for them, PopOS, good job there. Then I start to, to go inside uh, the different layer of things that are really important for me for gaming. First one is obviously like the sound. Do they have the latest like sound application and sound, I would say like layer to manage my hardware and yes they do so they had pipe wire installed so it's not the latest latest version but it's pretty like new which are which was like kind of surprising to me and also they had a wire plumber installed like in a really clean way so again kudos to you guys another good point for pop os another point i want to mention is the fact that system 76 created their own like scheduler and the idea behind it is like this scheduler is supposed to give you more performance so we're going to discuss about it after but on paper it felt like it was not bad okay it was not the best but i, I will show you with number like specific number and specific benchmark after that they try to do something here I have to mention it, but we'll see after like what are the outputs that this scheduler is giving versus over like scheduler over there. Now let's talk about their desktop environment choice. 
Apparently, they come with a specific version of GNOME called Cosmic. I don't have enough knowledge into GNOME to really say if this version is better than GNOME. Um, overall, and we're going to talk about it after, I'm not a big fan of GNOME. I'm going to explain it to you guys. But what I could tell by just testing it on a single monitor, it felt like a little bit smoother than what I will have on a GNOME, I would say, like basic experience. So I kind of like felt that the smoothness into gaming was a little bit better. Okay. But this is where I want to add my value added for you guys um, and, and, and jump towards the other side of their desktop choice. So now we're going to talk about the negative and we're going to start obviously with, with the desktop choice. The desktop choice based on GNOME for me is a mistake. Right now, when you think about gaming and overall with my own experience, you will get more FPS on a desktop environment like KDE. You're going to have more, I would say, like feature on a desktop environment like KDE versus everything based on GNOME. We have like uh, VRR, which is available now on KDE with one click. I couldn't find this option uh, within GNOME. So maybe it's my fault and my lack of knowledge. Okay. But what I can say is that it's not as good as implemented in GNOME that it is with uh, KDE right now. So obviously they are working on it, but I have the feeling you are, they are still behind. So can I recommend this desktop environment for gaming? I would say no. Now, this is my personal monitor issue I have with GNOME. Maybe you guys are going to have the same issue. But what I notice is that when you start to use more than two monitors, like say three or four in my case, I start to have like random bug. Each time I reboot, I have issue with like setting my parameter. They just won't stick with GNOME. And it's the same here with their cosmic based on GNOME desktop environment. It just doesn't work properly. It's a real pain for me, guys. It's a real, real pain. So. That will be my feeling towards their desktop environment. Let's talk about the pop shop. So they have something called the pop shop, which is their go through to install any type of application. And man, these, they made a big mistake in my opinion. So maybe some of the users, they won't care about how they install application on the shop. But me, I really do care about how I install application on my uh, Linux distribution. And here, what I've done, I wanted to install Steam. And I don't like Flatpak. I'm, 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 I'm not a fan of them. And obviously, like this shop gives you the choice. Tell you like, hey, do you want to install the, the dev version or do you want to install the Flatpak version? And I was kind of happy because I didn't want to install the Flatpak version. So I chose dev. I installed. And to my surprise, when I wanted to use MongoHud, which is an application to check the FPS in game. I installed it like via APT through the terminal and I installed it like via deb, like using a dot deb. And I couldn't use it in Steam. And I was like, what am I doing wrong here? And to my surprise, even after selectioning Steam being installed via deb and not flatpak, the operating system forced on me the flatpak version. And that's why Mango Ad didn't work. I had to install on top of that the Flatpak version of Mango Ad, and that's why it didn't work. But it kind of like showed me that even if I choose the dev version, PopOS forced me into the Flatpak version. And to me, this is a big no-no. So maybe this is a bug. Okay. But I rewatched the stream to make sure I didn't make any mistake on my own. And I can guarantee you, I'm going to show it to you there. I did install the dev version. And somehow the dev version forced me the flat pack version. And to me, it's a big no no. Like I, I, I kind of like uninstall Windows for having control of my hardware and my software. And to me, this is exactly what 
an operating system like Windows will do. Like it will just push something you didn't want to install. So system 76, please fix this. Now, before we move to, to the performance, I just want to mention that the kernel choice of Pop! OS is a little bit behind of what is the latest bleeding edge kernel. So I, I respect it, but through my testing, I noticed that um, it's maybe not the best choice because we are letting a lot of performance on the side because of the fact that the kernel is not really optimized, or at least not as optimized as I wanted to, and a little bit behind in terms of version. So now let's talk about performance. And performance is going to be straightforward. I noticed right away with my visual test is that in certain part of games, and compared to my experience overall, because I do a lot of benchmark, I was a little bit behind with uh, the stock version of the kernel. Even if System76 came with their own scheduler, I could tell something was wrong in terms of performance. So let me explain and give you a concrete case. So what I did first, I run a Cyberpunk 77 RTX Ultra benchmark on my machine on Pop! OS stock. And obviously, like the result is not bad at all because the game was running at 115 FPS and it's, it's not a bad result. Okay, for me, it's not a bad result. But then what I did, I did compile a TKG kernel and install it on Pop! OS. And then by just doing that, I increased my FPS by a solid 7 FPS on the benchmark. So some of you guys are going to be like, well, you know, we don't care. The game run, it's okay. Like, I don't need much more than that. But the truth is like, it's a loss of FPS for an apparently like optimized uh, distribution for gaming. You can still use it, but you need to understand that you're going to let some performance behind. Now I push the benchmark a little bit further and I use my actual like distro I've been using for the last three months, which I believe is one of the best for gaming out of the box named Kashi OS. And here you will see like the benchmark is at 125 FPS versus what it was before at 115 FPS. So you're going to tell me like it's, it's just 10 FPS. Yeah, that's right. It's it's not that much, but it's around like plus 10% of performance you're going to put on the side by just not using another distro. As a reviewer, I have to share my result with you guys. It's pretty bad in my opinion. Okay, like you are letting like 10% down just by not using the right distro. It, it kind of sucks. Well, uh, guys, you get the idea, right? Pop! OS is not a bad distro. I would say it's still okay for gaming, but it's pretty far away from being the best one. I think that some of their choice are really discutable. Uh, I, I show you right away that you could improve the performance by just putting a better kernel there. I don't understand why uh, they are not doing, doing that on their own. Uh, it's not, it doesn't seem like it's complicated to get there. And I really hope they're going to change their approach there. Uh, when it comes to uh, the, the choice of desktop environment, this is really like subjective. But I know for sure that if you have multiple screen and you want to run GNOME, you're going to have a lot of problem. I also know that in terms of performance, it's kind of equivalent to KDE, but it's still like three to 5% behind what KDE can provide. So it's, uh, I, I don't know, guys. Again, it's your choice. But for me, I will not um, recommend this distribution uh, for gaming. I do believe like there is better distribution out there. And distributions that will overall like, give you a little bit more performance. Now, I really hope like the bug I had, I hope it's a bug uh, related to the fact that I could not install uh, the dev version of Steam uh, via the Pop Shop is kind of like worrying me, to be fair, because 
I was not expecting that from them. I would guess, you know, it's just a bug and they're going to fix it. If they don't fix it, it's going to be another negative point for me in the balance that kind of like push me against like this distribution. So let me know what you think uh, below about Pop OS. But I would say overall, it's, it's good for beginners. But overall, like, I, I can't recommend it. That's all. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you are not too disappointed about uh, my approach, but I have to say the truth. And I kind of like prove my point uh, through this video. And uh, yeah, I hope, I hope, really hope that System76 is going to do a better job uh, with the next release of their desktop environment called Cosmic. And they're going to kind of like iron out all the issues I mentioned here. Thank you very much for watching. Guys, don't forget to thumb up this video, uh, subscribe to the channel. And also I want to thank again all the members of La Crème de la Crème Club who have been helping me financially. Guys, you are the best. If you want to help the channel, don't hesitate to become a member too on Patreon or on YouTube. You have no idea how much it helps. Uh, until then, I wish you to have a good day and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.